Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So today's video will be about Get Back, which of course is the book that is a companion to the Get Back documentary series that is coming out next month. Um, this book was just recently released. My copy came in the mail a few days ago, so we will be taking a look um, inside today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we'll start by uh, getting a closer look, obviously, at the cover here. So I got my copy of this book from the Fest for Beatles fans online store, so I did uh, buy mine online, but they obviously sell them in physical stores too. Um, there actually is a copy being sold exclusively to, or a version rather, being sold exclusively to Target stores, um, and it has four lobby cards inside. Um, and it's actually a little bit less expensive than other places that are selling it. It's, I think, $42 in Target, um, and around $60 elsewhere. And then they also have um, a copy exclusive to Costco stores, although we don't have any of those um, around here where I live, but that does have some other exclusive pictures in there too. So here's the spine, obviously Get Back by the Beatles. And this is a removable um, jacket, I'll take that off in a moment. So it says the Beatles Get Back is the band's authorized account in their own words of the creation of the 1970 album Let It Be. It brings together transcribed conversations edited from over 120 hours of original sound recordings, along with superb candid photographs of the sessions by Ethan A. Russell and Linda McCartney, and film frames selected from 55 hours of restored footage. Oh, great, so I will uh, take the, the jacket off. And actually inside the jacket here we have some biographies. I will just uh, pause here. You could pause the video to read these. And then there are some more on the other side here. Let me move this so there's no glare. Okay, so the jacket is off and we have this picture here of them, of course, in the studio. I think I prefer the book without the the jacket on it. Obviously, I won't throw that away, but I really like this picture here. All right, so let's open this up. So I did start this book. Um, I'm only about on page 75. I haven't had a lot of time to to read this week. I did consider um, not making the video until I read the whole thing, but uh, I didn't want to really delay the video any, any further. Here's a note to the reader. The text primarily consists of conversations between the Beatles and their associates that took place during the Get Back sessions throughout January 1969. These have been carefully transcribed and edited from the original sound recordings. Alright, so here are the contents of the book. So we have a foreword, an introduction, and then there's um, kind of a cast of characters list. And then the book is split into three acts, which is Twickenham Film Studios, Apple Studios, and The Rooftop. And then there is an afterword at the end. So I'll focus, I think, mostly on, on pictures here. Obviously, I don't want to give away too much of the book in this video um, because people should go out and buy it. And I guess I should say, if you haven't purchased this book yet, this video will contain some uh, spoilers of at least the pictures that are in the book. So we're still in the uh, introduction part here, so let's take a look at this. So this is the uh, kind of cast of characters, if you will. So we have, obviously, John, and Paul, and George, and Ringo. 
and then we have all the other people you will come across. Obviously some very familiar faces um, in this section and some not so familiar. I will read their titles, I guess. Director, recording engineer, head of Apple Films, cinematographer, managing director, road manager, press officer, runner, and then, of course, we know producer, keyboard player, photographer, artist, daughter of Linda, photographer, actor, and managing director. Alright, so I think what I will do is um, go through and take a look at some pictures first, and then I'll just point out um, a few little things I've noticed in just the part of the book that I've read so far. So right now this is uh, the act one of the book, which is Twickenham Film Studios. So this is broken up. Um, the conversations from the tapes are broken up by um, individual days. I'm not sure whether to go through the entire book, like every single picture. I guess I'll leave some things for um, people to to see that for themselves when they purchase the book. I've seen this one a lot already on online. People have uh, scanned it and shared it around. Here's some Two of Us lyrics in this one. I really obviously love the quality of these pictures and I'm really excited to see um, the film and you know what is going to be amazing quality. I still wish we could see it in theaters though but I'm glad we're getting six hours of content instead but I would like to see the Beatles on the big screen at some point. So every once in a while they have these big uh, two-page pictures, um, so I'll make sure I get all four of those in the in the video. So here is Ringo's first. Here's another one of those big pictures. Here's John. I really like the, the colors in this picture. I'll see if I could minimize that glare. There we go. And here is George's big picture.
and then we have Paul's picture. By this point, we are in uh, Act 3 of the book, which is, of course, the rooftop, as you can tell. At the very end, we have John's famous line. I'd like to say thank you on behalf of the group and ourselves, and I hope we pass the audition. All right, so I do have just a couple little things I uh, wanted to highlight from the small part of this book that I've read so far. So let's do that. So this is just kind of an example, but I like the, the parts I've read where they're um, introducing for the first time the, the songs that we, we know would end up on the album. Just like seeing when they're first, you know, telling them about the, the song that they come up with and we know that it ends up on the on the albums. And on then on this page here I found this interesting. They're um, talking about Brian's death. Uh, George says it's never been the same since he since he passed away and uh, Paul over here is talking about how they basically have to, you know, how Brian would be the one telling them, oh, you have to get up at this time, whatever. And now they have to do that for for themselves now so he says I think we either go home or we do it so they're talking about of course you know doing their work and doing that this show that they're planning in the in the book and th this is just a, a small thing but something that um, I hope is actually in the the movie obviously none of us know what's going to be in it yet but it says here that they actually played she said she said um, you know during this uh, session here. So I would love to see them play that. I love that song from Revolver. So I just thought that was cool. And then lastly, this is actually the, the page I stopped on. Um, so I haven't gotten any further than this yet, but obviously I'll, I'll do that soon. Um, but this is just another example of what I had just mentioned. So this is Paul just uh, starting to practice Another Day, which obviously is a solo song. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of this in the, in the book. You know, the, um, the song is just coming to life, if you will. And uh, overall, I'm curious as to how much of these conversations will be in the actual um, documentary series. Like, are we going to be able to follow along with the book as to what's on screen? I don't know, but we'll see. All right, yo people, so that is going to do it for today's Get Back Book video. Um, I want to say thank you very much for watching, and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. Um, and I am definitely looking forward to reading the rest of this book. So again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, my social media will be linked in the description, so you can check that out also. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.